The draw toolbox is displayed by default when you enter the sketching mode. Use the tools to draw 2D edges and apply dimensions and constraints. Note that sometimes not all of the toolbox items can be displayed at once. Use the uh, up and down arrow buttons to the right of the toolbox categorized to scroll up and down totally available toolbox items. With line tool, you can draw a line. Use the cursor to indicate a start and end for the line. To draw a closed or open polygon, use the polyline tool. The polyline tool allows you to draw a series of connected lines. You need to use one of the right mouse button options, open end or closed end, to finish your input and actually define the lines. To maintain tangency between a line and an edge, use the tangent line tool. Click on an existing edge or endpoint to start the line. It will rubber band as tangent uh, to the selected edge and uh, you can then uh, indicate the length of the line. The rubber band line uh, will not stay under the cursor but instead uh, its length uh, will be based uh, on the cursor location while its start and direction are controlled uh, by the selected edge. To create a line tangent to two edges or points, use the line by two tangents tool. Select two edges or points uh, near the desired tangent location on each edge. The defined line uh, will start and uh, end at the tangency location on each selection. The polygon tool allows you to draw regular polygons with n equal to 3 to 3d6 sides. You set the number of sides uh, via an edit box on the toolbox item. Then, you enter a center location and the location of one of the vertices. The polygon is then created along with the center point. This center point is important to the polygon as a special type of internal constraint uh, is created to maintain the polygon's shape even when you rotate or resize the polygon. If you delete the central point, the internal constraint uh, is deleted and the polygon may no longer maintain its shape uh, when changes are made to it. The edges of the polygon are lines just like uh, those you could create with a basic line function or polyline. The main difference is that this internal constraint uh, makes sure the polygon retains its shape. If you select the center point of a polygon, you will see uh, in its detail view that is a uh, least uh, polygon center with a number of sides uh, for the full polygon show to the right. If you select one of the edges, uh, it lists a uh, polygon edge as one of its uh, constraints uh, and shows the center point of the polygon to the right. You can delete lines from the polygon and uh, it will still maintain its shape as long as the center point and at least uh, three edge lines remain. However, when a polygon line is deleted, the adjacent lines uh, remain in the correct location and angle, but the neighboring endpoints can be either trimmed uh, back or extended without uh, violating the polygon shape. To proportionately draw a rectangle with a horizontal and vertical orientation, use the rectangle tool. It allows you to draw a horizontal and vertical oriented rectangle, defined by four edges, by indicating opposite corners. The auto fillet option 
if checked allows you to indicate one more location to provide the radius for corner arcs. If your radius is too large for all four of the corners, the narrow ends of the rectangle will be replaced with 108 degree arcs. To draw a rectangle at an angle by specifying three of the four corners, use the rectangle by three points. It allows you to draw a rectangle uh, defined uh, by four edges at any angle. Your first two cursor indications define the length and direction of one of side of the rectangle. Your third indication determines the length of the sides perpendicular to the initial side. Also, like the previous tool, uh, you can use the auto fillet for this tool. To draw an oval, use the oval for its tool. Indicate the center of the two circular end caps and then indicate the radius. To draw a circle, use the circle tool, indicate the center and then the radius. To draw a circle using three tangents, use the circle by three tangents tool. Select three points or edges near where you want a tangent circle created. A circle uh, will be created that is tangent to the selected edges or uh, passing through the selected points. To draw an arc by tangent, I uh, use the arc by tangent tool. Select an edge or end point to start a tangent arc. To draw an arc using three points, use the arc by three points to indicate the start and end of an arc, then the final indication controls the side and radius of the arc. To draw an arc from a center point, use the arc by center tool. Indicate the center and then drag the cursor to indicate the radius just as uh, through uh, you were creating a full circle. After that, however, use the radius indication uh, as the start angle of the arc and the third indication gives the end angle. To draw an ellipse from a center point, use the ellipse tool, indicate the center and then the end of one axis of the ellipse to determine the angle of the ellipse. Use the third indication to determine the length of the other axis of the ellipse. To draw a closed or open spline, use the spline tool. Create the spline by indicating a series of locations and then use the right mouse button to finish the spline either open end or closed end with fit points or control points, both or without points. The with points options will create points at the locations associated with the spline like the center points of circles. The fit points have a special form of coincidence constraint uh, to the spline uh, that prevents them uh, from sliding along the spline. The control points, without not directly on the spline, can be constrained, dimensioned, or dragged uh, with the drag or spline edit functions to modify the shape of the curve. Also, the control points are only available for open spline's. To create a flexible spline, click on the toolbox check edit box beside the spline feature. The flexible checkbox can be used to decide whether you want the spline you, um, you create to be uh, rigid as default or flexible if you check the box. A rigid spline can be moved or rotated, but its actual shape will not change unless you later change it to flexible.
You can change the shape of a flexible spline by assigning constraints, uh, for example, tangent lines at uh, its endpoints, dimensions, or by using the drag or spline edit functions to move uh, defining points, tangent curves, or other edge that are related to the spline via constraints or dimensions. Points are automatically constructed uh, during edge creation at edge and points and or center. This option allows the cursor input of additional points uh, which may or may not lie on edges. This option will place a point at the intersection of two selected edges. If the edges uh, don't uh, intersect, but uh, their extensions uh, would, this extended intersection will be found. 